Hi there, Sid Brantigan, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to prospect for sales leads. And so most likely, if you're on this video at the moment, then you're probably in a direct sales business, a network marketing opportunity or, you know, home based business um, company, something like that. So you're obviously trying to generate some leads and some prospects and maybe you're not sure how to actually talk to prospects. You're not sure what to say. You know, maybe you're not very confident on the phone. And so with these tips, they're going to allow you to be more confident on the phone, speak with more authority and hopefully lead you into the direction to where you can start closing more sales using the tariff, the telephone, which is a very powerful tool. So I'm just going to jump right into it today. So what is the prospect looking for? That's something you really are going to find out by doing a bit of fact finding. So you want to ask where the prospect's from, you know, just see maybe how old they are, and if, you know, if they've got kids, but just find out a little bit about the prospect. Don't spend too much time by doing this um, because it's kind of going to lead into more of a, um, you know, just a general conversation. You want to actually have a purpose and have, you know, you want to intentionally fact find, you know, it's very important. I'm going to cover that um, later on. The second thing is, uh, is that person actually aware of the benefits? And what you really want to do is by fact finding, you'll be able to actually cater this offer to that person. And so you'll be able to, you know, really cater certain benefits, which might appeal to them based on their circumstances or their age or their career or, you know, where they are in life. And so that's why fact finding is uh, so, so crucial. Third thing is, what is that person's pain? You know, and so if it's a uh, financial product, for example, is that person in debt and they're frustrated because they can't get out of debt? And so what you really want to do is look at their pain and look for a way to solve it. And the only way, again, you're going to do that is by fact finding. Um, but you want to make sure that you really highlight their pain and also highlight that your product or your service or your opportunity is a solution to that pain. Now, finally, the thing you might want to consider is any third party testimonials. So maybe you want, want to consider doing a three way call with someone else, perhaps who's bought the product or someone else who's in the business that your prospect is looking at. Um, this can actually be very effective. And a lot of people are just looking for a third party, you know, testimonial or approval before they make that final you know, judgment call as to whether they're going to join or not. So this can really solidify someone's belief in what you're offering. And so I really hope you like those tips. And if you did, if you go within the video description box or somewhere around this video, there should be a link that you click where you can download a free MP3 audio from a top recruiter in network marketing who's he's brought over 1300 people into one business and this audio is so so powerful really recommend that you you download it it's completely free it has some more prospecting tips uh, it's just incredible stuff so highly recommend that you go and download that for free today so thanks so much for watching this video if you could like comment and share i would hugely appreciate it and i will see you on the next one what do you reckon about the wooden frame i'm not sure if i should get a new one it's kind of got loads of stuff on it. I've been writing on this so much. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I don't know. Maybe I should stop being a cheapskate and just get a new one. <laughs>